In VirtualBox 7, I'm going to show you how to enable the virtual clipboard as well as drag and drop. Now you can do this while the machine is running, but sometimes it doesn't work until you restart it. So the best time to do it is when it's turned off. So if I go to my virtual machine settings for my Windows 2022 server, I can go to where it says advanced and I can turn on the clipboard. Now I want to turn on bi-directional so I can go either direction, unless for some reason you just want to go from your host physical computer to your guest virtual machine or in reverse of that. But most of the time we like to do bi-directional. We can also enable drag and drop as well. So I'll choose bi-directional there. And once that's done, I'll click OK. Now I'm going to start up my computer and I'm going to make sure that the clipboard and the drag and drop work. My computer started up, but just to show you, if you go to uh, the Devices tab and you go to Shared Clipboard, you can see it says Bidirectional and Drag and Drop Bidirectional. Uh, there's also an option for Shared Folders. Shared Folders allows you to copy files from your host computer into your virtual machine in case you don't want to use these other options. So now I'm going to go to Input, Keyboard, and Insert Control alt delete I put in my password and I'm logging in. Now before your shared folders and your drag and drop are going to work, we're going to have to install the guest editions and that will require one more restart. So what I'm going to do is go to Devices and Insert Guest Edition CD Image. Now you won't see anything here, so you need to go to the folder for File Explorer and we'll go to this PC. Now what it's done is it's replaced the uh, ISO file that I've mounted for my operating system with the guest editions uh, CD. So all I have to do is double click on it. Now sometimes if you double click on it and it doesn't uh, open properly, then you can just right click on it and choose open. Now once I have done that, I'm going to choose the 64-bit. So hardly anybody uses x86, which is the old 32-bit. Um, so you're probably not going to want to use this one. You want to use the 64, the AMD 64. And it doesn't matter if you're using Intel or AMD, it's still going to be the AMD 64. So my pop-up is kind of hidden below there. I'll just go ahead and click on it, click Next, choose the default locations, choose the default options, and let it run installation. Now you're going to see it blink when the video adapter drivers are put in. That's okay, just ignore it. It usually blinks twice. And then once it's done, you'll likely get prompted to restart. I skipped past the portion where it blinked a couple of times, but that may happen to you. And now I'm being prompted to reboot, so I'll click Finish. Now this may also happen to you if you had VirtualBox 6 and you upgraded to VirtualBox 7. You may need to upgrade to the new guest editions. So if you did do a recent upgrade, make sure you go in and just perform what I just did. Put in the guest edition CD by pressing the Devices menu and choosing that option, and then running through the installation. And unfortunately, you'll have to do that for every virtual machine that was on version 6 that's now on version 7. Now my virtual machine has restarted. So I'm going to test out by logging in. And it's booted in. One of the nice things about guest editions is you can move back and forth between the virtual machine and the desktop. It doesn't lock you in to the, the mouse into the operating system. And you can always tell if you haven't installed guest editions because when you click inside the operating system and you try to move away, it just get, it gets stuck at the border and you have to press the right control key to get it to release. But since I have installed the guest editions, I can move back and forth. So that's how you install the guest editions in VirtualBox 7. Now that this is up and running, let's test out by creating a new text document if I can drag and drop into my operating system. So I'm going to drag and I'll go inside and you can see the plus copy option. If you see the red circle, it may be that you're not quite inside far enough. There it is, you see the red circle. You have to drag it all the way inside, let go, and you're gonna see that appear and there it is. Now I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna open up Notepad and I'm gonna say, this is a test and I'm going to copy this text open up my text file here and make sure that pasting works. 
and it does. So now we know that the shared clipboard works as well as drag and drop works in VirtualBox 7.